Safety Lead, the channel dedicated to helping you sell and promote safety to your workers. Today I want to talk about habits. Why do I want to talk about habits? Because I am somewhat addicted to habits. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a five-step system that you can use to create positive habits in your life. So why would I talk to you about habits? Because habits matter. They're everything. And people matter. And your people out in the field have habits that they have to create and change. And you can talk to them about this and you can teach them this. Why are habits so important? They make up about 96 to 98 percent of all of our behaviors. Our subconscious mind is so powerful and so big that it controls almost everything we do. And we know this because these default mechanisms are created and they're hard to fight. And so it's make up so much of who we are and so much of what we do that we should really look at how to mold and shape them so that we can control how our life improves. And so this is something that I've dedicated a lot of time to. And I've got a system for it, and that system is really a five-step system. The five steps to creating a new habit. Step number one, you need to choose a habit. Now this habit should be tiny, it should be very small, minuscule, minuscule tiny little habit, something that you can accomplish without even thinking about it, something you can add to your other behaviors, but the smallest thing you can do that's gonna have a large benefit on your life. So you have to take some time to think about this. What tiny habit can you instill in your life? Think about your relationships. Think about the people that you love. Think about your work. Think about um, your, your, your wealth, your money, what you have, what you need, what you want. What habit can you make? Can you start looking at your bank account every day? Just that one habit, the smallest habit, the looking at the bank account matters as much as the end decision because that's what leads us to it. So find that tiny habit and you write it down. You write it down somewhere that you can see it so you know this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create this small habit, but that's not enough. Now you have to tie it to something that you love. So you wanna benefit your relationships, you wanna make your life better, you gotta find that tiny little habit and then you wanna tie it up with somebody that you love, one of those relationships. It matters, so you gotta tie it up to something that you love so much it makes you cry. Tie it up to something that you love so much you just can't stand it. Somebody, some relationship, some part of your life, some huge goal you have. Tie that tiny habit up to it. Somehow, find a way. You're smart, you can figure it out. So find a way to tie it up and then you keep a record. And you wanna keep track for 67 days. You have to find a way to keep track of how many days in a row you can manage this habit because you have to time this thing. And, and it's gonna take a certain amount of time from the beginning all the way to the end where you're gonna be able to keep this thing and make it part of your life. When you get to that 67 day mark, what happens is your brain starts, it's rewired itself to the point where this is no longer an effort to do. If it's really part of who you are, then step five is repeat. One small habit will change your life. What if you do that three or four times a year? How many small habits can you put in your life that will change you change your relationships with the people you love the most, change your relationships with the people that you work with, that you make money with, change your relationships with all the things that matter. You do that one tiny habit and you do that three or four times a year, your life could be better. Thanks for coming. Please subscribe, follow, check in, like, comment, ask questions, do whatever you want. Have a great day.